Can I ask Mr. Naylor to give a technical answer to that? And then I'm sure the cabinet members will have questions to ask them. So Is, in, is, is principally in, in infrastructure and visitors of the contract, and those will be, uh, those assets will revert to the council at the end of the contract. Um, and so the investment will be on the balance sheet. The, I think the, the, the fundamental point here, and I don't want to re rehearse the arguments of the past, but essentially what, what is happening here is that the funding and the financing, or principally the financing of the council, is through the deal with, with capital. So I think is. Uh, Councillor Thomas was saying at the start of the meeting, the overall contract sum has not changed. So, can you speak up, please? Yeah. So the the overall contract sum has not changed as a result of of the of the council's decision to to fund this investment through our own resources. Principally, um, and we have done so because in the final analysis, this presented the best value for money for the council. But the Financing of that of that debt and the repayment of that debt comes through the, the guaranteed savings in the contract, and I guess that still is a differentiator from uh, if the deal had been uh, if the deal had been struck on an in-house basis, because obviously those savings would not have been guaranteed, and that would have made a different risk profile to the uh, to the capital investment. So this notion that um, there is uh, we, we can suddenly quote afford some additional money is, is, an, is an inaccurate reading of, of the situation we find ourselves in. We can afford, as it were, to, to fund this investment because of the, of the contractual guarantees in the, in, the, in the contract. And indeed, through funding in this way, the council has retained additional benefits from that contract uh, and, and uh, that additionality has not gone uh, to capital. There's been no benefit. 